right. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back, patrons. So we are back with another episode. It is our episode number seven. Anmol and I, my name is Ashwin. We're both back to you. And this time, we'll talk to you about something very special. As you know, we love free, the word free. And uh, we love all the marketing sources that are free. And this one of these major uh, segments of marketing, which is search engine optimization, this is what we'll be discussing today. So Anmil, what is search engine optimization? What is this uh, word here? <laughs> it's a magical word basically to get this. Everyone is talking about SEO. Everyone talks yeah. about SEO. I mean, the first thing when they talk about digital marketing, they'll start, they'll start talking about SEO. <clears throat> I want to get SEO done. <laughs> so <laughs> there are a lot of misconceptions about SEO as well. And, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, people start talking about SEO when it comes to social media marketing also. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. But uh, let's uh, let's begin with. So I'll, I'll just, for the layman, let me simplify it. SEO is basically your race to be on the top in the search, uh, on the search engines like Google, Bing, and DuckDuckGo. And I, there might be other platforms as well. I'm not aware. And more will yeah. elaborate it further. So Anmol, let, let's get to the technicalities of it. Uh, what is SEO and what, what is uh, the importance of SEO? Yeah. So like SEO is the magical thing that every business started to focus on more uh, when pandemic happened because all the companies were struggling with marketing budgets and, you know, everyone was uh, thinking what should be doing, doing right now. So those companies who started that, that time are, uh, you know, reaping the effects now. So like you have already explained the audience what is seo so in terms of a technical definition if i say seo is uh, basically your website ranking on the first page of google in the top 10 results that is seo for us it could be ranking anywhere else but it won't reap you anything else any okay. anything okay and the results that you uh, get on the page are search engine results page serp so that is basically seo your website ranking on the first page of google now, right. how, uh, what is the important for SEO for any business? Well, uh, we all know that whenever we need something, where do we go? Right. It's we Google. Go on Google. We go to any search engine and we search it for there. Google will like, to, yeah. yeah, especially in India, we Google. We, we, we Google in India, especially. Yeah. Hmm. So where do we go first? If let's say I am looking for new shirts. So where I, uh, where I will be going first is Google. I will Google right. shirts for men. Right. Business shirts, uh, casual uh, shirts. My favorite example is red Nike shoes. <laughs> <laughs> red Nike shoes, yeah. So, yeah, so let's stick to red Nike shoes. <laughs> yeah. Let's stick red to the red Nike shoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's where we go on Google. So SEO is important for any business. Like, uh, let me take example of red Nike shoes only. Hmm. Let's say if Nike does not rank on Google hmm. and I am looking for Nike, I will search red Nike shoes. But if Nike is not ranking, probably they will lose on me and I will go to another brand. Or I will get frustrated. If I am a loyal customer, I will get frustrated that why they are not showing up on Google. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so how that's does what that happen. happen Anmol? I mean, uh, the, right now, the some of the people who are not, uh, I, I know, like uh, uh, the people who are technical and they are into digital marketing, they are understanding what you're talking about. So, what yeah. what, uh, what is ranking and why, why would Nike not rank on Nike? Uh, and why would Nike not show up when you type Nike? Right. Yeah. So basically, uh, Ashwin, in this, uh, like, first of all, that that is not possible that Nike will not rank on Nike because they are already a very big band. Their domain authority score is really good. In, in an imperfect world, you know, <laughs> where, <Okay>. where <laughs> Nike has, uh, is a new company, say, let's suppose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So let's say like, like uh, right now, like, Nike is a new company. They do not have a domain authority score. Google does not know what Nike is. But yeah, they had done some kind of marketing. So I got to know about Nike. I saw their red shoes somewhere. Now I want to buy them. So I go on Google, I type buy red Nike shoes online. Mm. And then I don't see their website. Mm. So I will scroll down. I will see the top 10 results. I don't see their website. I, so basically what I am seeing on these top 10 results is are they ranking there or not? Mm. So that is ranking. Right. So the ranking part is covered. Now, why they are not ranking there is because their website does not have the relevant content. Probably their website does not exist. Probably again, 
probability because it's an imperfect world or they have never done anything related to SEO. They might have content, they might have their uh, website in place. Now talking about maybe their domain name, that is really also an important part of SEO. That is something else like, let's say they have kept uh, red shoes, Nike.com. I am just giving an example or uh, maybe something else. So then they, they won't be ranking on the, you know, the, the keyword. Right. What is keyword? So that is red shoes, you know, Nike red shoes. Yeah. yeah. Or red shoes itself. So if, even yeah. if I didn't type Nike and I just typed red shoes and right Nike, if Nike is ranking on red shoes, so Nike will be uh, featuring on the top of the uh, Google uh, or, or on the search engine page. On yes. The, on the first page of search engine. Right. Yes. And uh, so uh, sometimes we see that uh, Amazon and Flipkart are ranking above Nike. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, because they are selling Nike shoes as well, but they, they usually rank above the Nike website. So what is the yes. story? It happens in a lot of cases. I have seen like their SEO is so much better in terms of Amazon, Flipkart and all these e-commerce companies. They are competing hard on SEO. Like they are trying to make much more relevant content than these companies. They are trying to, you know, outrank the uh, manufacturer itself oh, right. or the retailer or the brand. They are doing this. And uh, this uh, does not just happen with Nike. They, I am seeing it that this happens with a lot of brands. They are, uh, you know, Amazon, Flipkart and all of these e-commerce brands have invested a lot of energy in their SEO efforts. And uh, this has this trend I have started to see in the last two to three years only. Before that, Amazon was not, uh, you know, in the top one or two results. I was right. seeing brands, but now in most cases, whenever I type, a, especially a generic term like red shoes, Nike red shoes, something like that, hmm. that's where Amazon, uh, you know, dominates right. these brands. So basically, I'll, I'll just uh, simplify the things that you've said so far. So what Anmol has tried to say over here is that Google basically uh, ranks your website on the basis of relevance and uh, uh, on the probability of how many times a user would visit your website, correct? And how useful the user is finding the website. So Google has its own bots which come and read your website uh, just like a user. And uh, they they uh, these bots, they basically then do the ranking for your website and they, they usually go through all the keywords and how your website is performing. Uh, in which the security of the website is also important, right, Anmol? Yes, security of the website is really so important. How secure your website is, how user-friendly your website is, uh, not just the keywords, all these factors also uh, matter a lot when it comes to search engine optimization. So having a good website is of utmost importance. Uh, so here, like, I would like to add, Ashwin, like in 2018 and 19, when I was, uh, 2017, when I first started doing SEO for myself, because uh, at that point of time, I wanted to pers do personal branding for me. So I made this basic website on WordPress and I wanted to rank, uh, rank myself on that keyword. So earlier in 2017, Google's algorithm was much easier. Mm -hmm. Like right now you're told that your website needs to have SSL certificate. Your website needs to have a good user experience. Earlier, that was not the case. It was pretty easier to rank on Google. Like I just made a website. I put a little bit of content i am uh, like i just submit it i just index right. the website to google, uh, google search console and that, i was easily able to run. keyword packing used to happen right people yes, yes. unnecessarily pack in keywords and uh, recently google has made uh, i think our post night 2019 google made rules about yes. having that's the, where the things changed like i remember i was working with this agency and everyone was running here and there, oh, Google changed its algorithm. Mm -hmm. Now we need to focus on user experience. It's not just about the off-page activities we do or the backlinks we create. Now it's more about Google focusing on how people are feeling your, uh, on your website. Right. What are the experiences? Right. Is your content relevant or just to just for uh, the sake of ranking on that keyword? Mm -hmm. You have, uh, you know, just uh, made your website or made that content specifically. Right. So now Google... And as far as begun. I know, Google algorithms keep change by the day, not even by weeks. Right? Yes, yes. Uh, are there out. are so many changes that they are making on uh, a daily like basis. Having an SEO expert or sitting on your website at all times is very important because yes, and the SEO expert must be up to date with the changes that are happening in Google. Yeah, most of in most of the cases, what I feel is SEO is not uh, SEO is all about you know getting to know Google's algorithm and executing the things as per that. 
right that's where i i see most seo experts lack because like we have also worked with so many seo experts You're they right. do not read they just follow the old practices they it does it does not work so why mintra and amazon are ranking above is just one of the reasons their team is content continuously updating themselves all oh, right so anmol uh, google is one platform what about the other platforms bing and duckduckgo which are also popular platforms right Yes, yes, so yes. Their algorithms are similar to Google, or that is different from Google's. It is a bit different, but you can say like it's uh, it's like uh, you know Brad AI and Chat GPT. Mm. Mm-hmm. A little bit of differences. Right, but basically yeah. the uh, core is the same. Core is the same. Like if you go and search for our brand name Propstical right now, you will find it ranking on Bing. You will find it ranking on. Uh, Yahoo, you will f- go and uh, find it ranking on DuckDuckGo, mm-hmm. and even if, uh, like most people, uh, if they see their analytics, uh, they will get traffic from Baidu or DuckDuckGo or Yahoo because people in other countries whose web uh, like they use other type of search engines because Google is not very privacy friendly. Not right, correct. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, so coming down to yeah, okay, we've spoken about the website. Okay, now now, so what is the benefit, right? Uh, so uh, of uh, having a uh, put, employing an SEO expert on your website. So now we have already come to that point. So what does an SEO expert do? I mean, yes, he is keeping himself up to date. This is these are the qualifications. So how does he maintain the website and? Uh, what are the benefits of having your SEO strategies in place? Or let's put it this way: What should be your SEO strategies, uh, and how does how are they executed? Yeah, I think that. So that's... SEO strategies, uh, like everything, starts with planning first. So you need to first take a look at the current situation of your website. So if I talk about our brand, let's take our brand only. Okay, so. Uh, six months ago, when we uh, when we were discussing about how we can market ourselves better, what we can do in terms of SEO, the first thing we did was an audit. Mm-hmm. What is the current situation of the website? So we went to different tools. We see the site speed. We see the technical SEO. So we used Yoast SEO to see what what is currently what is the current strength of the content on our website. Mm-hmm. Uh, we see what kind of keywords we have put in the content of the website. We see uh, from a technical standpoint how is our uh, website loading, uh, you know, how are the images put it up in front of the user? What is the bounce rate? Bounce rate is one of the important factors that Google considers. Hmm. Then we started to look out for, uh, you know, things like what, uh, you know, we installed heat map on our website. We see where users are bouncing off, what they are doing on the website, how they are reacting to things. Like, let's say we put up an image, are they clicking on it? Are they not clicking on it? And then we started to follow, uh, you know, we went to websites like SEMrush or Hrefs, and then we look out for what our competition is doing because at the end, uh, you know, what I just told is most people are doing that. But then again, you need to see what the industry leaders are doing. So we started to look out for that on tools like SEM, uh, SEMrush or AHFRS, or uh, there are many other tools you can uh, go for that. Hmm. So we did an audit first. That's the key. Hmm. Now, once you have done your audit, you can make a plan. Hmm. So after doing all of this, we knew where we are lacking, what we need to do next. So next we define which keywords are those where we want to rank on. Hmm. Okay. So let's say, take an example, digital marketing agency in India, best digital marketing agency in India. I'm just giving a throwing an example. Okay. So we want to rank on that keyword. Now I will search that keyword. I will see which companies are ranking there. And I will just visit their website. What exactly these guys have done on their website? Mm. Is it the uh, what type of content they have put? Uh, what is the length of their of their page? How fast the website is loading? You know. So I will see those things for the top ten websites on that page because uh, it's a very uh, you know heavy keyword that many people are you know working on. Then I will go to a tool like Uber Suggest or uh, or Google Keyword Planner. Then I will try to see what are the, uh, you know, average monthly searches on that keyword because uh, in SEO, you cannot uh, directly go to the moon. There are steps you need to follow. If I want to go to the moon first, I need to build a staircase, basic staircase. Okay. Hmm. Then I can, so that I can climb on that. Then I can start building the rocket. Hmm. I will make the rocket. Then that rocket should be functional so that it can take me to there. So I need to, so it's, it's like that. So now. My site audit and my keywords are in place. 
the next step will be i will uh, on the basis of what keywords i have selected i will look out for the searches on those keywords right. i won't directly target for a million uh, traffic keyword instead of that i will first target a little bit more long tail keywords mm -hmm. you know why because it's my... what is long tail and short tail keywords <laughs> okay so short tail keyword is let's say uh, i am searching for red nike shoes mm -hmm. that is short tail a uh, red nike shoes for uh, red nike shoes medium size in india mm -hmm. long tail i am yeah. specifying my requirement mm -hmm. okay so uh, let's say in our in our case long tail keyword will be uh, social media marketing agency in uh, near is between dehradun mm -hmm. a long tail keyword short tail will be digital marketing agency Correct. okay and what so are I will the first... features of the, or or uh, what are the functions uh, of each uh... long tail so case. basically uh, long tail keywords really help us to rank in uh, you know when people if we want to be more targeted or more niche most people search for long tail keywords hmm. like if i want to uh, uh, let's say i want to buy a, a wire, uh, you know my uh, a wire a usb wire for my uh, for my iphone okay so what i will do is if i want it near me hmm. i will i will write down on google i uh, original iphone usb cable uh, vendor near me mm -hmm. right or uh, apple store in clement town or apple store near isbt correct iphone xr wire cable in dehradun if i am not able to find so if i uh, talk about these keywords these are very niche keywords and to get more targeted leads these keywords are the best plus their competition is low most of the time that happens mm -hmm. whereas on short term keywords those are generic if i just write down iphone xr usb cable there is so much competition because i haven't specified my location correct all the uh, tough players in the market are already competing there correct. so the chances of success are low but if i talk about more niche keywords in my market mm -hmm. so let's say we are targeting uh, you know two metropolitan cities mm -hmm. and if i want to do seo for us i will uh, put uh, the city names in every keyword mm -hmm. you know why because it's easy to rank there mm -hmm. Right. instead of you know just going uh, on so now talking in technical terms uh, so if i go for long uh, long tail keywords first i will do se on that then i will slowly and steadily as soon as i start to see my rankings go up on these keywords then i will start to go on short short tail keywords so the reason is that google will start trusting me hmm. and once google starts to trust me my domain authority score is rising my backlinks are rising um, i am getting more traffic on How my website build over the time so explain uh, for the audience a little bit uh, okay like so, this uh, because see again uh, like you said uh, uh, seo is going to the moon right you can't do it yeah. overnight uh, so yeah. people have to understand why seo takes time uh, seo is very important but you have to invest time it is like uh, investing in mutual fund it is in making a long term yes. investment correct it is not exactly. like buying a cryptocurrency it is uh, more of a long term investment in which you keep putting a, a certain amount so what is uh, uh, like uh, the process uh, sorry i cut you off in between but yeah so uh, tell us about that how does go do you build that trust with google okay so to build that trust it's like any other relationship first google gets to know you you submit your website you index the site map you uh, do the robot.txt thing and other technical stuff and then google knows you hmm. now to build trust further and take the relationship to the next level you need to uh, uh, let google know more about you so you need to put out content you need to create relevant backlinks the people that are coming on your website they should stay at least for some time so that your bounce rate isn't high no you right. need to uh, you know do uh, continuously work on your on page stuff like you need to add meta tags you need to add title tags conical tags oh. and there are a lot of other things that you need to do so what are these meta tags and title tags just explain a little brief and okay ex also explain where do the contents go because everyone is talking about content but nobody yeah. actually understands what content exactly is so let's uh, talk let's first uh, talk about the smaller topics like meta tags tags and title tags and uh, let's elaborate a little bit more on how does uh, the content help and uh, how it is posted and where on all the content goes right okay so meta tags are basically let's say i put a title on my website digital marketing agency in dehradun okay so that is what the user sees on the front end correct but on the back end of any website uh, there is an option hmm. 
okay so in this option you put something more elaborate and relevant so that google and understand it mm-hmm. so these are that that tags in simple words i am telling in mm-hmm. very very simple terms so that our layman audience can understand it right. so these are tags basically that we have on our website right that we put on so that google can easily understand and establish trust with us and their uh, you know crawlers know what our website is about mm-hmm. so there are a lot of kind of tags uh, one is title then meta then all tags all what? tags are basically tags put on the images okay. so i conti- i continuously talk about this everyone uh, in, so in our google company. does not have eyes so it cannot yeah, tell what the google does not have eyes right they can they can only read so the images that i put on linkedin i i put the all tags there the images i put on instagram i put the all tags there the reason is that if you go to google and you search for a uh, search our company name in images you will see most of our images ranking there mm-hmm. people neglect this part of it but people do search images on google like we also when we want to search a specific topic or content related to it we always see the images maybe we get something more relevant there. first thing i search is images yeah if i most of us yeah uh, if i t- have to type right red nike shoes first thing i'll go and click is on google images and, yeah uh, I, i think uh, the best image attracts me the most i'll click on the image and then i'll try to go and look exactly it. now why that best image is ranking on the top their all tag all text is <laughs> very very good correct and people are trusting it they are clicking on it so google is showing it more because at the end google google's goal is also to retain their audience mm-hmm. so they will show what's more relevant to them right okay now right. coming to the content uh, the the big bad wolf in the field yeah the, the big bad wolf yeah so let's talk a little bit about content how does content work uh, who uh, what it takes to create a content where does the content go you know there there on page contents off page contents as well just like on page seo off page seo yes so let's elaborate a little bit uh, not to we don't take i mean we don't have to waste too much time on it but uh, just to give a basic understanding because the understand what i have realized is the understanding regarding content is very low the yes i agree so like in simple words if i say so google is the king and content is the queen right. they both need to meet each other they would need to you know be a perfect match for each other in right. simple words very very simple words mm-hmm. now talking about content creation most people take it wrong because they do not make content for their users they make content for google and that's what google hates the most mm. because google says my search engine is for my people i want my people to be here hmm. so how does google uh, i mean so uh, because a layman would think uh, like you said if he is designing a content for google obviously he is thinking that google would like it so why does not google like what is it is for it? and how does google know that the content is uh, good for the reader or not so there are two reasons number one users hmm. how the users are liking the content okay. and number two when people Uh, you know take the mindset that i want this content to rank on the first page of google so they do a lot of uh, mistakes like putting so much keywords mm. adding too much links and overdoing the things basically they do not let it naturally go up and uh, you know slowly and steadily work on it mm. but they want everything to be perfect in just one go which in most cases doesn't happen trust me i have tried this mm-hmm. i have tried uh, this in 2019 a lot and it never happened and whereas on the content that i made for my users i got a good response from the existing audience i got a better cold audience on my page and then the shares were very good so that's where google ranked it above mm. and that's what i that and that's the trend that i have noted till date mm-hmm. you can use uh, certain seo techniques and make your content rank above but in the long run it will go down so if you want a longer use case of your content you need to content continuously keep it updated so let's take an example i put an article hmm? the content should be for the audience yes the content should be for the audience and it should be continuously updated not say let's uh, like in 2019 i uh, write a post on seo top 10 seo trends and i expect that it will rank in top 10 seo trends in 2023 no google won't show my content maybe once in a time it uh, ranked well but if that's not relevant now to my audience google won't show it google knows it like so they have so much database the, uh, the you should keep updating and putting new content each and every time on your exactly website. exactly that's why you know there is no harm hmm. google says you put out relevant content hmm. 
वी विल मेक यू रैंक यू स्लोली एंड स्टेडीली दो थिंग्स एंड दैट्स वर सो व्हाट डज कंटेंट मीन वेयर वेयर आर द कंटेंट्स पुट लाइक वन इज ऑन द वेबसाइट और लाइक वेयर ऑल इन द वेबसाइट आर द कंटेंट्स एंड वेयर ऑल आर द कंटेंट्स आउटसाइड द वेबसाइट सो देयर आर मल्टीपल प्लेटफॉर्म्स नाउ इफ यू सी सो आई एम वी आर ए एजेंसी ओके देयर इज कंटेंट ऑन आवर वेबसाइट देयर इज कंटेंट इन आवर ब्लॉग्स then there is content that we can put on google discover feed okay. because that that's where you know you see those stories like instagram that's where also you can put out content and then uh, there are certain uh, channels off page so basically on off page what you do is basically you go to different websites you do guest posting there now what is guest posting let's say ashwin you have a blog that has uh, 1 lakh monthly traffic coming to you okay. and you are also a marketing expert you have a marketing baba a marketing expert blog okay and i come to that and i say ashwin uh, i have this agency and i would like to collaborate with you and uh, you, uh, i want to put a guest post on your blog so that we both benefit from it i will give you a backlink you give me a backlink so that's what we do to generate certain type of content to get better ranking because now google knows okay this guy he already has this much ranking he has this traffic and this guy has given him a backlink so this is a good backlink then another form of backlink uh, getting a backlink is from pr activities get a lot of backlinks from pr activities another form of backlink is social bookmarking so on social media platforms you post a picture you backlink you post a, you post something you do the backlink there so there are a plenty of websites to do that then there is ppt so, submission media marketing also plays a big role in yes uh, it plays and certainly now if you go on google and if you see somewhere uh like there is a linkedin blogging platform pulse oh. uh, so earlier it used to be very very famous now they have just uh, you know pushed it down but many a times when i search for something on google i see linkedin pulse articles ranking there blogger blogger was one of the earlier popular uh, blogging Good. platforms where users used to read yes another one uh, wordpress has it oh. so if you build your website on wordpress.com like my personal website is on wordpress.com oh. so they have their own blogging engine in which whenever i put a post so they have their own community which is trying to grow so it's just like youtube mm. i put my post out there people will reach me who have subscribed to me i subscribe to them they subscribe to me so that kind of a community mm. then there are places like you know you where you can create your backlinks is or you can put your content is reddit you can talk about your company on reddit you can talk about your company on quora you can talk about your company on medium Mm-hmm. so these are some reputed platforms there are so much so many reputed uh, reputed platforms but i am just naming some of them for ppt you can go to script or you can uh, you know earlier it was uh, linkedin something or slide share earlier it was slide share but now it has become script you can go and submit a ppt there so there are many of these platforms where you can submit the content but most people where they get wrong is they just keep on putting pushing out the quantity and they forgot about the quality, quality okay. whereas quality matters hmm. so let's say uh, during my college years i was looking for an assignment on digital marketing okay i just go and type on uh, assignment for digital marketing and this is this so the ppts that used to come first were from slide share and they were pretty relevant but if i go to the the 10th or 15th page on google and i look out for the ppts there hmm. so you will see that the person who has made it uh, like you will see that it's not that good to be ranking on first but that's why they are ranking there hmm. there is no, not much relevance to me correct correct yeah okay so so uh, yeah, yeah. good 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 yeah so these are uh, some types of content that uh, you know you can easily do hmm. and these days i recommend everyone when you post something on social media do not forget to put an alt, alt uh, put your alt text there right. because things are getting more that? visual how does one do that so on linkedin when you upload your picture so uh, on your mobile or desktop it gives you option uh, like a pencil then you click on that it gives you option for edit all text or add all text same happens on instagram before posting when you go on go down and you click on advanced settings that's where you get the option on twitter when you upload the picture uh, you, there is a small circle down uh, you just click on that you add the all text there and on facebook also you, that's how you get it so on every platform there is option to add all text 99% of the people you know just ignore it right. but what i feel is uh, for the past 4 5 years i have been doing that and when i search my name on google i feel really good seeing my images ranking there <laughs> because i have been doing that for past 5 years same i have been doing for propstagger 
so that's why i recommend everyone you know they should be going on uh, going to you know add add all text in their images right so and also now we have spoken about the efforts that goes into uh, into seo okay now yes. come uh, all these efforts go to waste if you cannot measure the result right so let's exactly. come down to the measurement of the how does one measure what has how they uh, how they have performed on seo yeah i mean the one of the ways uh, easy answer would be go and check yourself on on uh, the search engine but uh, what what is the correct way of measuring your uh, success uh, on seo so in this case there are two tools by google they, these are made by google only one is google webmasters or google search console earlier it was used to be known as webmaster now you go and search for google search console it ranks number 1 the another one is google analytics so webmaster is more of like you can go you can see what issues google is saying that your website has what is the current uh, site map that uh, google has are there any pages that are not ranking how is the mobile usability what are the pages that are not ranking so google will tell you the reasons for that are there any security concerns google will tell you that so search console is basically like your dashboard from google and they are telling you that this is missing on your website you need to do this to rank then you go on google analytics that's where you get the insights on more of what users have come to your website what is their location how they came on your website how how long they stayed on your website uh, and what they did on your website which pages they visited mm-hmm. you know all those kind of a things and another thing heat map also right yes no for heat map uh, there are, there are another tools that you need to go on right. but uh, another thing about search console is you get to know your impressions as well so most people they don't know about this but on search console you can see your impressions they ignore search console basically 99 uh, 90% of the people they just don't uh, go to search console and see how many impressions they are getting impression is also one of the metrics that you need to consider when you uh, are doing seo because seo is long term uh, for like e- any year you will work and then you will start to see results mm-hmm. so you can you know count in terms of how many impressions i am getting how many clicks i am getting and then after a year you can see how many conversion i am getting from seo because it's a long term investment it's not short term right and um, so one thing we haven't spoken about is where does the does seo uh, lie when it comes to the marketing funnel so so if i have to begin my ma- digital marketing or if i have to market myself uh, uh before uh, we run any ads seo comes first right so, yes yes so what is the purpose here why why do we do seo first uh, so why do we do seo first the reason is that at, at see i don't get it uh, we tell to the prospects that we get as well that you need to start with seo but they don't do it initially they do it after 6 months and it's uh, you know it saddens me basically because before running the ads before doing anything like it's like you you are setting up your social media it's putting your house in order first you do the basics you you put your profile picture you put your bio this is who i am this is the guy you are meeting i put some pictures then i can expect okay and i can build something on it or i can run an ad ad on it so why we need to do seo is because let's say someone sees my ad they bounced off now they want to come again to me okay how they will come again they will search for my company name and i am not ranking on it they will probably go to someone else correct so it's basically waste of money as well because when i have done my seo i am ranking on my keywords at least and i run the ads so at least google will also know okay at least they are ranking here mm. right they are running the ads people will land here correct. but if i don't have a presence it, uh, you know the user will also go away they will like i am running ads for someone else it will make make that case and when it comes to google ads or uh, search engine marketing also uh, that does not perform if your seo is not in place correct yes yes exactly and that's where most people don't get it like we are you and i we keep on convincing them you should go for seo and they just say i will i will do it after 6 months it will take 6 months <laughs> to generate something for you it's 6 months to do seo yes. <laughs> right uh, i mean if you're doing it from scratch i mean uh, yes, yes if your ha- house is already in order then the seo is uh, just uh, a ta- maintenance task after that building the things yes, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah you keep Maintain changing everything. sometimes you tightening the nuts and sometimes you uh, fixing some leakage here and there 
but yeah. uh, yes, so when, when you, you you have a brand new website, when you have a brand new business, uh, SEO uh, is something that you yeah. have to do first, but and it uh, it is something that you have to start with first. Yes. 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 Great. Anything else that we have missed out on, Mohanarsh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you have covered pretty much everything. And like, I don't want to overwhelm our audience with a lot more information right. because we can talk about n number of things in SEO, like uh, technical parts of it. What are the technical things you need to optimize? What are right. the off-page I think uh, we should. Uh, uh, if our audience wants to wants us to speak about those things, you can put your questions in the comment box, right? And uh, we will take uh, note of those questions and we'll get back to you on those questions as well. Right. Exactly. That will be much better because, uh, you know, overwhelming is never good. <laughs> they won't be able to retain the information. <laughs> Post -max. That's why this basic episode is needed. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So let's close this website with, uh, you know, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, we'll be coming back with our, another episode very soon. Sorry, this we had missed one episode in the last week because Anmol was visiting uh, me in Bangalore and we went on a trek to Kurg. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So we might made, make one podcast about our trip as well and how we utilize that trip uh, to create a business plan. <laughs> it's a necessary one. <laughs> yeah, it is a necessary one. <laughs> so, we'll get, uh, so we will let our so audience know. A very it. casual one and uh, if you are interested, we can share some pictures and yeah. Yeah what happened <laughs> so thank you so much everyone uh, who watched uh, who have watched this episode uh, till this mark and we will be launching this uh, we will be launching more episodes soon and we are coming up with a lot of good content that you will be seeing on our instagram on youtube shorts and you know our long form content our podcast so see you see you guys soon thank you so much for watching and if you like it do share it with your friends subscribe and do not forget to become a young tech. thank you <laughs> Bye. <laughs>